Every time I make pastika, I would use this circulon cover deep skillet. <laughs> it's deep enough. Look at how deep it is. So I can do a lot of things. And also look at this glass lid so I can see what I'm doing, okay? And the great thing about this is it is so thick. This spread heat very evenly with no hot spot. You see, the whole thing is evenly heated everywhere. The whole bottom evenly heated, no hot spot. Ah, more than that. Look at this. This stainless steel and silicone handle. Oven safe, up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That means you can put in oven and finish up your cooking anytime, okay? So now, we're gonna show you how to do one of my favorite, our family favorite, the pastica. Here, I have some Napa cabbage, and I put a tiny bit of salt, I put it right here, and then I mix it, and I mix it a little bit, and push it down. Then after a little while, you know what? The water will come out, let me show you. Okay, look at this. After a little while, I can actually squeeze the water out. Okay, look at this, look at this. Squeeze the water out because now they're nice and soft. And then I'm gonna mix this with ground meat. You can use ground turkey, ground chicken, ground pork, ground beef, ground lamb. I put it right here. Put a tiny bit of mushroom, shiitake mushroom. Put a tiny bit of garlic. I love garlic, the texture and the ginger, okay? And then cornstarch. I'm gonna marinate this with a tiny, tiny bit of, you know what? Sesame soil and a tiny bit of oyster flavor sauce. Okay? These are the pastica wrappers. You can buy them in the store. Otherwise, you buy one done wrappers. Then you use a cookie cutter. You just cut it into a round shape, circular shape. And very simple. Look at this. I'll show you. Everybody can do it at home. This is family affair. Okay? I put a tiny bit of these marinated meat and vegetable, a one dish meal. You got protein, you got vegetable, you got carbohydrate. There's no trick to it, okay? One teaspoon, okay? Half moon, I put a tiny bit of water, half moon, okay? Snap the edge on one end. Push with your second hand. Push, snap, push, snap, push, snap, push, snap, push, snap, push, snap, you know what? You have perfect pot sticker, like this, okay? Now, in the meantime, we have done a few of these ahead of time. <laughs> we're gonna put this over here, and put this over here, and we're gonna cook in this beautiful circular on cover, deep skillet. Heat this up a little bit, not much oil, just a tiny bit, one, two, three, four, just a teeny tiny bit of oil, okay? Coat it. Coat it, it is so deep, you can do all kind of things. And then I'm gonna line this up, look at this. One, and two, and three. Line them all up, line them all up, perfect. Okay, look at this, it's gonna be beautiful, nice and golden brown. Look at this, nice and golden brown. Nice and golden brown, look at that, beautiful. Now, I simply put the water right in here. And this is how you do it, okay? Just in case it splash, you see how to do it. You slide it on that side. And I cover it. Okay? Now let's sit there, let it steam and cook for about five to six minutes, okay? Oh, almost ready. Look at this. Most of the water evaporated. And this, look, you can see it's translucent. Ah, and it's not sticking. That's why I love this cover circular on deep skill. It doesn't stick, okay? Pot sticker, it doesn't stick. When you serve, this is how you do it. Very interesting. Some of them, I turn it upside down like this. You see this? Upside down. Upside down. And then this. I'll put it on the side like this. I'll put one and two and three. This is the beauty of preparing this pastica in this circulon cover, deep skillet, served with two sauces. One is 
sweet and sour and spicy. One is savory and spicy with a nutty flavor.